My name is uh, Eugene Skavorodnikov. Um, I'm a pianist, concert uh, performer, and also in the faculty of University of British Columbia, teaching piano. My biggest inspiration came, of course, from my teachers, uh, who opened the world of music for me, and also from my experiences of listening to music at uh, live concerts and uh, uh, practically speaking to hear a new repertoire to hear uh, polished accomplished performances of uh, great performers uh, of the past and, and present always give me an inspiration to deepen my studies and learn uh, more and uh, achieve higher perfection. Uh, we want to be inspired by the great achievements of masters uh, in our field and surround ourselves with, uh, with the sound, surround ourselves with music activities and music ambiences as much as we can. That's uh, something that will create uh, the environment that will help us to bring the best of our abilities in learning and achieving uh, a better result. The medium that, of music is sound, this is, which is international language. You don't have to speak any language to be understood. When one is on stage, or one is even teaching, sound becomes the common language of communication. And in this respect, sound becomes the, probably the most important aspect of expressing oneself through the music. So the Russian school was formed uh, from, from uh, um, the fact that, that a lot of people, not a lot, but a lot of people from the West who were invited to, to teach in Russia in the 1800s, they brought a very advanced Western uh, music techniques. French came with great ideas of finger techniques. Germans came with a great idea of, of uh, kind of very scientific approach when the whole body participates in, in in uh, production of the sound and it fell uh, on a very fruitful soil of, of Russian talent and it created absolutely new neither French or German uh, in particular uh, result and it became known as, as a Russian school because of the sound production because of the uh, a background of singing music that was predominant uh, uh, in Russian culture before uh, forming prof of professional schools, say singing, folklore singing, or I would say uh, uh, singing at the churches, it was the main uh, music activities of, of, uh, of Russia as a country before the uh, impact uh, from the Western um, the musicians. And eventually it created uh, envi the environment to, to build a new uh, absolutely new to the world and uh, unique in a sense uh, tradition in, in, in world, world's culture which is called Russian music. 